We also have another guest who yeah. actually went bigger than bigger, right? Because he was already boss. How are you? And welcome back. An official I'm Mod good. Squad. Thanks, yeah. Carlo. It's good to be back. <laughs> Want to introduce your guest? Is he a guest? He, oh, my God. He needs no introduction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guest, friend. How Tell everybody you? who you are, what you've been up to, and we're having you here today. We want to talk about the book. Awesome. Uh, my name is Colin Egglesfield. Chicago native, have Yay. lived in New York, Los Angeles. I've been back here in Chicago for about a year now. And uh, my primary focus has been real estate. How's it going? Did you finish your flip? Uh, so I've got a six unit that I'm two weeks away from being done with. Oh, awesome. And I've got a flip up in Irving Park that I'm about to start on. And this is the cutest story, right? Because he's doing this with his mother. Yep. Can yes. you tell us a little bit more about the craziness that went through with uh, with your project? I heard about it about two, three months ago. And, you know, everybody just thinks it's like, what? In, like ramen soup, right? I oh, want yeah. to stir I mean, and then you have like... Yeah, just turn on HGTV and I mean, that's <laughs> how it works, right? Uh, wrong. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, so my mom is my real estate partner. Uh, we've actually got a refi tomorrow. So I was on the phone with her earlier. And it's funny because she lives in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And so, you know, we're, we're FaceTiming and, yes. and calling each other. Can your and... mom fire you, though? Like, I really want to know this. No, but she's a, she's a badass. She was like, <laughs> okay, if, you, if I need to get on that phone to, like, talk to anyone, you just let me know if I need to, like, you know, oh, expedite <laughs> anything. I'm like, all right, I'll let you know, Mom. That's awesome. Everybody yeah. thinks that seriously flipping is easy. I'm in the middle of the craziness. And um, I just acquired a property, and we're in the demolition. Like, seriously, I always walk around, and I feel like I have, like, dust in my hair and like my face is padded with like dust it's just such a gross process have you found anything interesting or not out yet of the ordinary? do not speak it into existence i'm very blessed i mean i like seriously i don't know like when i and this is gonna sound really weird so the owner of the home was a nun and the day of clo final walkthrough and i know we're shifting a little bit but i got to share this story mm -hmm. because it's pretty cool um the day of final walkthrough i've been able to access the property multiple times to check the sewer to check um you know the water like all these things right we have multiple inspections multiple contractors come in and give us bids and then the last day as i'm doing my final walkthrough i can't access the property and i asked the realtor for the code it's a sentry lockbox and i said can i get a one-day code mm -hmm. and the, the realtor was like no and so i called the managing broker no one was responding and i said why can't i access this property are you hiding something right god so like freaking out at this point because the closing is at 10 a.m the next day and i had a ton of things to do i wasn't going to go to closing um so this is really weird but like i prayed and i was like if this is meant to be mine please don't let it be mine if there's a problem in here because there's something here i can't see and i know this is crazy coming from an investor realtor <laughs> but literally the home was owned by a, a nun who was like a liberal nun she never obviously she was catholic nun so she never got married so she, she didn't live in the convent she didn't <laughs> she lived in that building and she had a two flat and um she lived there i mean the bathroom didn't even have a, ki a, a sink it was a kind of weird space it had a hmm. space heater anyway long story short it was i'm super blessed it's i mean it's moving along and I know our producer, okay. Will, is also doing a, a renovation. So we're a full of renovations in the studio. So you, you didn't get into a fight with the nun like Katy Perry did? I did not Perry get into did. it. Because, you know, she Katy Perry away. has been in It was like an estate a... sale. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so it was her heirs that I was dealing with. And mm. uh, I don't know. The realtor had an emergency, so I couldn't get in. Sorry, Joel. Well, no, that's absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, especially when you're doing something with your mother, right? You yeah. better be on your game. Oh, my, my mother God, used yeah. to say, I brought you into this world. I could take you out. <laughs> yep. I love it. Mom says no. Tell us about this book. Amazing. I mean, you're, I've seen you traveling and I yeah. asked you to come on the show and you're like, well, I'm going to be here and then I'm going to be there. Yeah, but I'm on a book tour, so Carla. Jealous. I mean, that's what you do. I mean, you're coming to Market Overdrive. Don't you, you have a book? <laughs> no, actually. I know Joel has like four Joel, or five, right? You wrote a book? Well, this is not what we're talking about today. Oh, okay. Right now, we have somebody that has a great book, Agile Artist. So tell us about where you were at recently. And actually, before we were on air, you were actually talking about something that you're doing, uh, and it's a give back, right? Mm -hmm. What are we doing in the community? Yeah, so the book is called Agile Artist, and it's essentially all about the insights and strategies that I've learned as an actor working in the industry over the past 20 years. Because as actors, we, we essentially have to walk into a audition and create the reality for ourselves. So whether it's I'm playing like a, a vampire or a detective or whatever it is, we have to create, create whatever scenario we need to to be able to get the job. And we have, you have to be authentic, you've gotta be, got be vulnerable, you've gotta really just get connected with who this character is oh, wow. and what the role is. So what I've recognized is that the further I got along in my acting career, 
the more I started to recognize that my relationships became more authentic, more genuine, the more you open up and the more just real you are, the more real connections you start to have with people. And I'm also a cancer survivor. So what helped me get through that mm -hmm. too was I decided that, you know, much like figuring out what character you need to be for a role, I decided what character do I need to be in order to get through this crazy, scary experience. Oh, wow. And for me, you know, my mom was a big inspiration because I told her after my second diagnosis with cancer, she said, honey, you know, you've got to become a warrior. You've got to put on your armor and go to battle. And as an actor, I was like, ooh, I can do that. Wow. But before that, she would say things like, you know, well, this may be too overwhelming for you. And this is, you know, for a lot of people, fear of the unknown can be paralyzing. I mean, sometimes people just don't want to get out of bed because it's, you know, life can be too scary. Or right. whatever it is you're dealing with and the challenges that life throw at us, how do you get through those challenges? What's so amazing here is that we get bought, you know, we get bogged down, right, in real estate and thinking that it's life and death. Mm -hmm. And by picking up this book and actually reading it, what you're realizing is that people really are going through life and death situations and how to deal with them. And I love that analogy. Yeah. You're putting on your armor, and we talk about it in real estate that we're going into battle, but nobody's dying. We're just helping right. folks. And that's what you've made a transition to, and it's yeah. really great. And what I talk about in the book is life is all about perspective. You can look at life from so many different ways you can look at you can focus on the negative or you can focus on what is the solution for this so if you ask yourself creative questions instead of destructive questions so if you ask yourself yep. how can i get through this situation how can i rehab this house how can i find the best Versus why me why did this happen well, to right me? Or, or instead like... of i'll never be able to you yeah. ask yourself right. how can i yes. right your You've brain is that. essentially a supercomputer and it mm -hmm. will give you the answer for whatever question you pose to it so in, in order to create empowering context for yourself, it's all about coming up with creative, empowering questions. And for me, what I decided was after living across the street from the World Trade Center and seeing people trapped up in those towers oh, wow. and seeing people jump from a thousand feet in the air, I decided, you know what, life can end in an instant. Yeah. And if you really truly care about something, and for me it was acting, and I was living in New York City at the time, and the idea of going out to Los Angeles and pursuing a career as an actor was kind of crazy. But the just knowing that if I was trapped up in those towers and I had a second chance at life, what would I want to do? I want to pursue my dream. And that's what I tell everyone. It's all about perspective. Focus on what really inspires you and go after it. Colin, that's amazing. We're short on time, and I really want in the last 60 seconds that we have you. Touch on this give back. What are we doing in the community, please? So at the end of the book, I do talk about my community development down on the south side of yes. Chicago. Uh, I had the fortune of meeting a couple of contractors, one of them which right now works with a program called Ready Chicago. It's Ready a Chicago. Chicago Alliance program yes. where it's a 24-month program where guys who are getting out of the criminal justice system are given an opportunity to work on construction sites. I love that. They are provided with a steady salary, and we teach them how to do carpentry and other sorts of trades so that after that 20 more 24 month period, they're able to go get jobs for themselves. That's a real Hawkeye right yeah. there. That's awesome. We love it. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Carla. Oh my gosh, it's always, um, you know, just so cool to see you. And I applaud you for your book. And I'm excited to read it. I know I was supposed to get one and read it, but you know, mm -hmm. life's happens. Life happens. Um, but I really help it. Are you yeah. coming out to our brunch on Sunday? Uh, I got to be in Kansas City for a book signing. What? Barnes and Noble, Kansas City, Overland Park. But it's always, always great to, it's always to great see you. It's always great to see you too.